David Cohen from Variety here. FX's anthology series American Horror Story consistently delivers some of the best design and crafts work on television, and the most recent series, Freak Show, is no exception. Hair department head Monty Hot joined us to talk about how even the hairstyles contribute to the show's general creepiness. On American Horror Story, uh, it seems to me you have a number of really interesting challenges. You're doing period, you're doing horror, you're doing freak show. Talk about sort of the layers of putting all that together. It starts with the period aspect of it. Um, we had to figure out who was present day and where the stories were gonna go. As a design aspect, Ryan asked if the carnies could look a little off, maybe like a decade behind. So they're still holding on to like old hairstyles from the 40s and the 30s and the 20s. Luckily, we have some nice wigs. We'll put them on, that way we can change their look, like length and color, and that helps show different time from the present day. One of the things that fascinates me about this process is you take a given character, you say, well, that character might have gone out to get her hair done. Mm -hmm. But where would that character go to get her hair done? Is it a high-end salon? Yeah, exactly. Well, you have to think about um, the character's age, their wealth, what kind of society level they're in. Can she afford the products and the, the tools back then to do what she needed to do? Emma Roberts' character, when she arrived, she was really glammed up, very 1940s Hollywood starlet. So we slowly had to let her hair look less done. We made it more like a ponytail and stuff that a, a young girl could do out in the woods. I'll tell you one thing. If I ever found out you were lying, I'll kill you with my own two hands. Well, something interesting about um, Kathy Bates' character is that she has very short hair, and we sort of styled it around sort of a man's hairstyle, like combed over, very precise, where a woman in that time period would never do that. Um, but she is playing a circus freak. She is a circus freak, and she's the bearded lady. So there's a sort of duality with her character being very masculine and feminine at the wrong time, so to speak. And then you have Penny, who becomes the lizard girl. Stick out your tongue. I had it forked. <laughs> Well, we had no idea she was going to become the lizard girl when we first started shooting her. And then when she gets attacked by her father and turned into the lizard girl, we looked at the design, the, the tattoo makeup, and then I had to kind of create this like crazy hairdo that she would wear. Well, how kind of you to include me in your number, huh? Jessica Lang, her look was definitely designed after like a 1930s feel. So therefore, she really popped when you saw her. Like, something's odd about this woman. The clown, I didn't work with him because he didn't have any hair or wig or anything for us to do. When I saw the first episode, it scared the crap out of me. It's a clown! You're a very own clown! You can do whatever you want with him. What are sort of the key tools for you nowadays? Nowadays, um, a wig dryer seems to be the a most wig dryer. is the most important thing to me. Because <laughs> if I need to turn a wig around between scenes or between two scenes, I'll have to like reset it really quickly, stick it in the dryer and cook it, dry it. Um, yeah, that's probably my <laughs> favorite thing. Tell us about working so closely with the actors. Hair is so important for character, and you're actually touching their heads, which oh, is yeah. so intimate. Yeah, yeah. It, um, you know, we're the first person to see them in the morning. We can establish the mood with them throughout the day, and it's a lot of pressure sometimes. <laughs> I think hair and makeup is the one thing that has to be created every single day. Like clothes, props, they're already made. They're the same ones used every day. But hair and makeup has to be organically done on the actor. It's a lot of work and a lot of patience on both parties. What has been the most gratifying thing about American Horror Story Freak Show? I started off my career doing regional theater and I worked with a repertory group at Arena Stage. So here it's like doing that all over again. It's having the same actors doing different plays or shows and seeing them create you know, different looks and different things on someone you get to know and work with every day. It's fun. Mm -hmm.